Not all edges in a social network are the same. Here we learn about the surprising strength of weak links. In the 1960s, sociologist Mark Granovetter studied how people find jobs. He found out that most job referrals were through personal contacts, but more by acquaintances and not close friends. Why didn't jobs come from close friends? To see the answer, it'll help to define some useful properties and mechanisms on graphs. One is called triadic closure. The idea comes from social network pioneer Anatole Rappaport, who suggested that if two people in a social network have a friend in common, there's an increased likelihood that they'll become friends themselves at some point in the future. So consider person A here. A has two friends, B and C, but B and C don't know each other. There's no link between them. Triadic closure is the idea that such open triangles tend to close hence the name closure. How does triadic closure affect the clustering coefficient C? Let's recall the definition of the clustering coefficient C for a node A. It's the percentage of friends of A who are already friends themselves. C sub A before the new edge is one out of six of the six possible edges, B to C, B to D, B to E, C to D, C to E, D to E, only one of them is there. What about after the new edge? Now there's one more link. So out of the six possible edges, there are now two. So triadic closure leads to higher clustering coefficients. Why does triadic closure happen? It could just be opportunity. We meet our friends through other friends and B and C have the opportunity to meet through A. Or it could be trust. B and C's mutual friendship with A gives them a reason to trust A. Or A has incentive to bring B and C together to avoid stress, since if A is friends with two people who don't like each other, that could be stressful. By the way, this idea of open triangles and the importance of triadic closure has been studied for mental health. Bierman and Moody found that teens with low clustering coefficients in their friend network are more likely to consider suicide. This could be because lack of closed triangles correlates with lack of social groups. You might have lots of individual friends, but if they don't know each other, that may be a sign you don't have the support of a coherent friend group, or because of the stress caused by open triangles by friends who themselves are not friends. Okay, we're still on the way to explaining Granovetter's results about why jobs came through acquaintances rather than through close friends. We'll need one more definition, a bridge. A bridge is an edge whose removal places nodes like A and B in different components. So if A is gonna get new information, like about a job that she doesn't already know about, it might come from B. Now in actual social networks, true bridges are rare since everyone is pretty connected. But more likely is what we'll call a local bridge. A local bridge is an edge XY where X and Y have no friends in common. So a local bridge doesn't form the side of any triangle. So notice here that A and B have no friends in common. A's friends are F, C, and E, and B's friends are H, and, and these nodes over here. So this edge between A and B is a local bridge. Let's enrich our model a bit further. We know that some ties are stronger than others. We have closer friends as compared with acquaintances, people we spend more time with, and let's say that we'll label every edge on the graph with S for a strong tie and W for a weak tie. Now let's define a relationship between strong ties and triadic closure. We'll say a new edge like this BC edge is more likely to form if AB and AC are strong ties. An extreme version of this rule might be if A has strong ties to B and strong ties to C, there must be an edge BC. We'll call this rule strong triadic closure. If a node one has two strong ties to nodes two and nodes three, then there must be an edge between nodes two and three. So in this graph, we see J has strong ties to F and to G, and sure enough, there's an edge between F and G. While B 
is linked to both A and H. A and H don't know each other. There's no edge here. But that's okay because AB and BH are weak ties. It turns out that if a node A in a network satisfies the strong triadic closure property and is involved in at least two strong ties, then any local bridge it's involved in must be a weak tie. We can see this by contradiction. Imagine A has two strong ties, to B and to C, and let's say one of these is a local bridge, the bridge between A and B we saw earlier. Strong triadic closure says the BC link must exist because A has strong ties with B and C. But the definition of a local bridge says A and B can't have any friends in common. So by contradiction, this local bridge cannot be over a strong tie. This means that local bridges are likely to be weak ties. That explains why jobs came from weak ties. The local bridge is indeed the source of new information. People across the bridge knew different people than me. Weak ties can occur between two cohesive groups, like a former colleague from work or an old college friend. And these ties have different information than close contacts. Furthermore, Granovetter found that the jobs that came from weak ties came along very short paths between the job seeker and the job compatible with the Watson-Strogatz small world model we just saw. In summary, completed triangles, triadic closure, leads to higher clustering coefficients. Your friends will tend to befriend each other. Local bridges are often over weak ties, and information comes over those weak ties. We've learned about the surprising strength of weak links.